Well, apparently PUBG has offended thousands upon thousands of Chinese and South Korean gamers by releasing, or well, accidentally releasing a pilot's mask that had the rising sun symbol. I don't know if you guys know that, but the current flag for Japan had been changed. At near the end of the war was the rising sun flag, which I'll show you. And basically it was symbolic, kind of like the Nazi symbol, the swastika, you know, for the Nazis in, in World War II. And so what had happened was this item was released, you know, in those crates and everything, the loot crates and the gifts and everything like that. Well, apparently a few of those people came across them and they were highly offended. Why would you put this rising sun mask in there when they were responsible, the, the Japanese Imperial Army was responsible for horrible and heinous things during World War II to the Chinese and South Koreans. And so they said, you know, take it out. It's like putting in swastikas everywhere. I'm a little torn on this, to be honest. Oh, and there was an additional thing too, uh, in terms of the mobile site was Unit 731, which was actually, again, associated with the Imperial Japanese doing a lot of chemical testing where I, I believe around 3000 people died. I'll put the article in there, but that's not what I'm getting at here. I'm a little torn on this issue here. First of all, yeah, you know what? I can get why they might be offended. Why are you including that in there? That's like putting swastikas everywhere. You know, we don't want to see that here. And if you are one of those people that like, you know, KKK and swastikas, well, you're probably close to human garbage anyway. So I don't really care about your opinion, but I understand why they would be offended. But here's the flip side. You're like, oh my God, why would you put that in a game? You're talking about a game where the objective is to kill everyone, to literally kill everyone, whether you shoot them in the head, whether you run them over with your car, take a machete, a hatchet, a crowbar, whatever you can do to kill that other person throw them all to burn them to death. But having this rising symbol of an enemy on there is too much for you. Is that is that what I'm getting at here? What about, you know, uh, you're like, oh, well, that's like putting, I read some comments where like, well, it's like putting swells because you mean like Nazi zombies or Call of Duty World at War where you got to play as the Germans with the swastikas and everything like that. No one got offended. We realized we were playing a game where it was about war. And honestly, if you hated them that much, when you saw the enemy wearing the rising sun on their head, wouldn't that just make you feel much better when you got to kill them? You know what I mean? We're talking about a video game that is incredibly violent. The premise in it, it's not fun. You're not building things, it's not exploring nice little pretty lands. You're talking about decimating and destroying your enemy by any means necessary. And somehow putting this mask in there with the rising sun is too much. You've gone over the line. When I kill people, I don't wanna see that on their head when I'm blowing it up with my 50 cal. Come on, man, it's a little hypocritical. I think it's a little hypocritical. But again, as I said, I kind of understand, but where's that fine line? Where's this I'm super offended type stuff? Meanwhile, you're playing in a game that for the most part is kind of disgusting human behavior. Now, the other thing that I don't like is Blue Hole saying, oh, that was never meant to be released. Come on, Blue Hole, stick your guns. You created it for a reason. And don't tell me if you never, if it never meant to be released or anything like that, then why even create it in the first place? Bull crap, stop lying and just fess up and say, hey, you know what, we made a mistake. We shouldn't have done it. We should have thought, hey, maybe it would offend people. And you should have thought about that since Blue Hole is South Korean. How did you not think that that was gonna offend people? And if you did know it was kind of a controversial thing, at least explain it, say, we're sorry that you guys are all offended by this. This is what we were thinking. This is why we put it in. Maybe it's like what I was saying. Hey, it's a violent game. Maybe you see it. Maybe like, oh, they're like the ultimate enemy, right? They know you're Chinese. They know you're South Korean. And maybe putting that on there gives you incentive to put that bullet right between their eyes. You know what I mean? It's a video game, a violent video game. Stop getting, I can't believe that these people, what are you tree huggers playing a friggin' game where the objective is to kill everyone? You're the weirdest friggin' hippies out there. I'm really offended by that. When I shoot people, I, I don't want to actually look at them. I just want them to go away. Come on, man, that's ridiculous. And the 731, unit 731, again, this is to do, it's an AI bot. So I'm assuming it's to do with mobile. I'm pretty sure there are no bots in the desktop thing. And by the way, mobile, if you win that, it's not really that impressive. It's filled chock-a-block full of bots, okay? So if you're like, oh man, I got so many wins on this, congratulations, it's nothing. Do that on PC, do that on Xbox, 
that's a little more impressive. That's just a little side note at the end there. I don't know, am I, am I talking crazy here? Am I going crazy? Is this a really huge sensitive issue? Should they have, oh, they've made a mistake. And Blue Hole, come on, man. Don't say it wasn't supposed to be in the game or anything like that. You created it obviously for the game. So stop lying to the people. You wanna keep credibility for your game and development as a development studio as well. Don't lie, fess up. Hey, you made it, say, we made a mistake. That's what you should have done. Maybe you could have given an explanation and people would calm down and stop going, oh my God, I'm so offended. I don't know, I just think it's a little ridiculous. We see games like even Modern Warfare 2 where you go through the terminal and everyone gets assassinated. Yes, it's controversial, but it's gamers were like, ah, whatever, you know, we'll go through it. That was terrorist, you know, we understand it's part of the story, blah, blah, blah. But this game here, having that little painted symbol on the side, it's too much, you've gone too far. I don't know, man. I'm I, I'm sort of split, but I'm more on the side of I don't see the big deal of it. I don't think it's a big deal. Even if you put swastikas in there, we know it's about shooting an enemy. Most of us know that the swastika is associated with horrible human sludge. You know, just the same as what that Imperial Rising Sun did and what they did to people during the war. Again, horrible. But it doesn't mean that it should, you should be offended when it's in a game where your objective is to destroy everyone by any means necessary. That's just my take. I'd like to know yours.